Hello everyone, here's a quick guide for how to get the hidden ending to the quest Clash and Conclusion in Dragon's Dogma 2. In order to experience this quest, you'll need to first have completed the quest Welcome to Batal, which should happen naturally as you first arrive there. When you return to Vernworth, a soldier named Simon will eventually approach you in the middle of the merchant quarter area. If you don't see him, check nearby the Melv ox cart and look to see if he's patrolling between there and the fountain. He'll ask you to help him escort an ox cart, which starts the quest Tensions on the High Road. During this quest, you'll run into Ragnall, and the quest gives you a choice to side with him or to side with the soldiers, but this outcome doesn't matter, so pick either one you'd like. If you finish this quest, which is pretty straightforward, you'll have access to Clash and Conclusion when you reach the mission The Guardian Gigantis near the end of the game. This is where you have to head back to the area from the beginning of the game, the excavation site, and ascend the Moonglint Tower. After you take the elevator up the tower, you'll run into Ragnall. When he sees you, he'll challenge you to combat, leaving you with a few different approaches to get your different outcomes, one of which is more of a hidden one. The first is escaping, which you can do intentionally or unintentionally if you're thrown off the map and decide to use a wake stone. If you decide to escape or do something that counts as escaping, this will end the quest instantly and you don't get any rewards. The second outcome is defeating Ragnall in combat, you just straight up kill him, and for that you'll get 7600 XP and 15,000 gold as your rewards. The third and best outcome, which is the secret one, is to do some damage to him, enough to have at least a visible dent in his health bar, and then pick him up and carry him around or tackle him to pin him down. It may take a few times of doing this to progress the quest, but I found if you just hold on to him for a while until he breaks free, it will eventually trigger a cutscene. Because you refused to kill Ragnall, he realizes you didn't come here for him, so he decides to toss you the Moonlight Tower Key along with his weapon, which is a holy mace called the Exalted. You'll also receive 7600 XP and 20,000 gold for this outcome. Because you spared his life, he will eventually deliver a newt liquor to your home in Batal if you have one. He'll still do this even if you revive him with a wake stone after killing him, but you won't get any of the other immediate rewards. So yeah, that's about it for this guide. I hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching.